I'm just walking down the street in downtown. Oh, dirty ass police. I don't know what's on his mind, but the motherfucker just said something to me. I don't know what he said. But anyway, I'm walking down the street in downtown. And I have a lot on my mind right now. As you can see, it's me, myself, and I. And I wanna know, you know, I had said this months ago, that something is essentially assaulting me. He ain't. You know, saying something about this man. I'm gonna call his name. He ain't nothing I need. Is watching people connect sexually. And when I say people, I mean adults. And I wanna make a video. I might talk about it a little bit now. Why the white woman has such high value when she is craziest motherfucker alive. But anyway, he said something about women trying to meet people around me. So let's go see who around me. Let's go see what kind of people around me that people want to meet. Let's see. Now, I have never felt this kind of premonition till I got here in Georgia. I wouldn't have to say Georgia's a horse. Georgia's a horse of another color. I wouldn't have to say that. They, they will bust down just as soon as blinking their eye. But I hear the, I hear the Bible says, now I'm going through so many, I really, don't wanna, I really have to question my spiritual life. But the Bible says, if they don't want what you're saying, show you this stuff. Now, keep in mind when I open this video, I say it. That is me, myself, and I. Now, if I'm minding my business, then what can we speculate is happening? You leave the house fully clothed, ready to get naked. That's right. I say you leave the house fully clothed, ready to get naked. If it bothers you that much. If I stretch my arms out, I'm in my personal own space, but it still bothers you. Because you ready to fuck as soon as you leave your house. We finna pass by a business. I ain't gonna show it. Went up in there and the lady gave me the grand tour. Now, she, uh, when I didn't say what she thought I was gonna say, I don't know what the fuck a nigga say to a white bitch when they're alone with. I said, I don't know what the fuck a nigga say to a white bitch when they're alone with her. But America is one of the dirtiest motherfucking countries in the world. All the men, all the people that was killed for saying, for saying, because they were accused of fucking a white bitch or asking her for the fuck. I said, America is the dirtiest country in the world. That's why the God. Motherfuckers. Almost every motherfucker I done met ain't got no drawers on. 
<laughs> I said almost every one of these motherfuckers ain't got no drawers on. Look, if this was 1950, I said, look how. Somebody walk in on us, I'm gonna be fucked up. Shit. So, what are you saying, modern time? When the hoe ain't got no drawers on. There's no need for me to get off course here. Let me find me somewhere to sit down. What this is? Oh, this is the animal hospital. I hope the rogue animals don't get loose. I thought this motherfucker while I'm trying to sit down. He's saying, now let me tell you who I done met in my past. How many people done met somebody and for 20 years they won't know who you fucking? The Lord is saying, now I'm not spiritual. Obviously I'm not spiritual. I need to be. I need to be quiet. And this motherfucker won't know if the dynamic that the white woman had with the black preteen is something that I'm a partaker of. Let me tell you something. I go up in my house, I lay my ass down. I get up, I go to church, I go to work, and I'm oblivious to every fucking thing. I say I'm oblivious. If I hear some shit, I'm like, ooh! I can't believe there's some crazy stuff in the world. What's up, yo? What you mean by that? Well, you at church Monday night, prayer night, Tuesday night, Bible study, Wednesday night, Thursday night, choir, Friday night, auxiliary, usher, and all of that. Saturday, you you sleeping all day, and Sunday, you back at church. And when you're not working from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. in the healthcare industry, Then, then I'm at church. So when I hear some shit, I, I'm like, ooh, that's some crazy shit. Hear the motherfucker down the street. Now keep in mind that I don't know how long that dynamic has been present in America. Nor do I give a fuck. Nor do I give a fuck. I am not, I don't have any white significant others. I say I don't have any white significant others. I don't have any white significant others. I don't know how long the dynamic has been present, nor do I care. Now, I don't know I had two friends when I was 11. Uh, let me see what her name was, Rhonda and Louise. When we were 13, Rhonda was 12 and I was 11. Them two hoes were straight fucking white grown women. Now, now I'm... I guess they thought I was going to be the little duck. And that's the way to be a social, uh, to, to fit in the clique. You know, sometimes that's the way to fit in the clique when you the duck. But, that mean, that mean you nigga everybody ass in the clique so you can get in. That's where your duck is. Where is it? It ain't no such thing. I can't believe people would do such shit. Well, I don't know who you're talking to, but... You smell the wrong bitch breath and you don't know who the duck is. Now, I'm on him. It's like 10, almost 10 minutes of, of uh, rambling on here. My point is this. Do I... Is it hurt my pride that much to leave Georgia? Is it hurt? Because I have never felt this kind of uh, attack against my sex organs and my body and my spirit in my life. Never. Now, I go somewhere talking about God, this, God, that, God is God, and God never changes, and God got all the power and this and that and that and this. I have to tell you, I'm very upset right now.
saying? Somebody, the black girl in America, want to act like something that she doesn't want to educate herself to do. Well, you know, I just finished watching a webinar on how to film a documentary. Now we don't really got time for the for the watch bullshit. But we can film a documentary. Why don't we take some random women and have them to follow my routine? Why don't we take them for, have them to follow my routine, my principles, and my values, and see what happens to them? Why don't we take, Why don't we do that? I want to see. I want to see just what he mean by that. You know something he's saying, telling me somebody. They want to know if they say what I say, who's going to talk to me. Well, let's see who's in, who's around me. Let's see who's around me, who I'm dealing with here. As I was saying, Louise and Di uh, Rhonda was having sex with adult white women. Now, what's my point? Well, I'm assuming that that's something that has been persistent. Because I met, quite some time ago, I met some, a 12-year-old and a 10-year-old. And it's something, 12 years old and 10. And even younger than that. I, I don't know how she's not. My daughter was five, so I'm assuming she was uh, probably seven, seven, I'm going to say eight. She was a little mature, but she was young, very young, I'm going to say eight. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing right here, but she looked very young. I'm assuming that, you know, word gets around and they go, go ahead, on. this is how you mean, and this is what you do, and whatever, whatever. I, I have no idea. Now, I do know the young girls. I do know them. And uh, I do know a couple. I won't lie. I know uh, a girl I went to school with. Her name was Tika. Her mama stayed at the school. I don't think the woman got in trouble. Because I don't know if the girl initiated the experience. The girl, Tika, was 11 years old. Yeah. And, um... Uh, She's 11 years old. Now, I was watching. Uh, but nobody wants to, you know. I was watching. I was uh, at a certain place the other day. And when I tell you, I saw something unbelievable. You know, so I, saw some, I saw some women just go at it. Well, Cynthia, women can hold hands. Women can get married to when I tell you, I don't even think they knew each other. I don't even think they knew each other. One was a, uh, she looked like the woman on the mummy. Who is the one playing the wife on the mummy? She looked just like that. And a black woman looked like Venus, uh, her name is Venus Williams. Is that a, yeah. So I'm like, <clears throat> now the other woman, she worked with children. So I'm like, how she got this woman to do that right there? I'm assuming she didn't call her with some of the little preteen, and she him that bitch up. That's what I'm assuming. That's what I'm speculating. Or maybe they just, you know, were passionate about each other. I have to get. I have to good say. I don't recall one time in my life ever meeting someone, and you know, uh, where I preached a sermon when I was 18. That if you can't say hallelujah while you're doing it, don't do it. And I see why he say that. After experiencing oral sex, I met a woman that wanted to just grab her right there. But guess what? You know the weird shit is? You know the weird shit is? God is real. Motherfucker. Almost ran into my arm. Some of the things I said, you was old and ugly and bald headed, and, and uh, people done put something in your 
uh, the system here. Well, I haven't been to uh, to hydrotherapy, self-prescribed hydrotherapy in a couple of days. And more than that, actually about seven days. Actually about seven or eight days. But I was a young girl in my 20s. And when I was in my 20s, I didn't have to work at all. I just had money. And didn't have what had to do nothing. So I, I was attractive enough. I was attractive enough. I'm going to say I was attractive enough. I say, I only had one person made me feel like that. It was a female. You made me want to just get down right there where I stand. Motherfucker almost ran in my arms. I'm like... But I've always had the philosophy of that deodorant commercial. Never let them see you sweat. So I just sat there drinking my cup of coffee. And the only way uh, people knew that something was happening was it was a palpable heat wave right in the middle of us, a, a palpable magnetic heat wave right there in the middle of us. And when I tell you, she almost jumped off her feet into my lap. But I just sat there, you know, so I said, you look like a big stud anyway. Well, I'm going through something. But at the time, I was, uh, I used to run three miles every morning. I used to run the stairs for about 30 minutes every morning on the riverfront. I would get up in the morning and run three miles then stop at the end of the, the uh, trail and run the stairs on the riverfront. I was eating protein out the wazoo. I'll tell you some protein is something nasty. Yeah, it's something nasty. Well, you know, they got all kind of protein now. I might try something different, but it was nasty. I think I had a protein overdose. But I was lifting weight for an hour every day. <laughs> so the the point is this. I'm I'm really sitting outside wondering what God is trying to tell me. They won't know who I'm with and who what I'm doing. Well I could turn this camera around, you can see the 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 woman, I'm the woman in the office. I'm like, I can't judge her, but I'm like, you know, it's dangerous. These diseases out there, and we call where well, we from. We call where I'm from, from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Where I'm from, I call we call that a friend. What you mean a friend? Well, you may or may not give them money. They may or may not give you money. They may or may not give you the key to an uh, apartment or a condo or a house or whatever. Why? So that you can have privacy and spend time. And you call and say, well, look, my husband's at work. My kids are at school. I'm off today. Let's go have coffee, whatever, whatever. Or why don't you fire up the grill at the house or at the apartment? You have the key or whatever. I'm trying to figure out why... I have to come in out of nowhere and service you. I don't understand that. Now, this is a business transaction I'm trying to make here. I have to say that most of my positive business dealings have been with African Americans. But the money is still green. But I say, but the money is still green. I'm just wondering what is happening here. Am I judging? Well, no, I'm not judging. I just. What if I need to leave it? Because I'm really having a time. I'm really having a difficult time. I'm really having a difficult time. I say most of my business didn't have been with African Americans. I said, well, Georgia isn't polarized. Well, it's some of rise. It's something to rise here. It's something to rise here. It certainly isn't diverse that I can tell. It looks diverse, but it doesn't appear to be. I don't know what's going on here. But anyway, this motherfuckers keep telling me they're gonna die. For what? You not my husband? I say for fucking what? 
You're not my husband. And I'm supposed to walk in the office and service you? Well, I'm telling you, I think you need to get your motherfucking friend. You can do that shit in private and not bother me when I come to work. I, mean, I need to call Louisiana and tell him for the mail me my fucking freedom payments because these motherfuckers think I'm supposed to serve him. I'm fucking slaving. I don't know what y'all, I, I, uh, I am from Louisiana, East Baton Rouge Parish. I am not a slave, I am a free woman. <laughs> the fuck? What the fuck? Beautiful woman. Now that's the shit, that's the shit that blow my fucking, and the shit, let me tell you what, blow my mind. This my, what kind of crazy motherfucker is that? I said, what kind of crazy muffin to get out here just rambling? Well, I, I had to get up because I couldn't lie down. Because when I tell you, I'm like, okay, something's touching my body. I wonder what's happening here. I was like, God, what is happening here? You know, I don't understand. Because if, if I had given my life to Christ, then I'm doing everything. I know how to do what's happening. You know, I could, you know, I could do, be, anybody from Baton Rouge know, you can handle it yourself. I'm handling myself. I said, I'm handling myself. I'm handling myself. But if God says I don't do it, then is God better than a man? I don't understand what I'm doing. I have to say that. I have to say this woman is a very lovely woman. Very petite. Very attractive. Very fit. What the fuck is you waiting for? Somebody nigga to walk in and service you for. And then the motherfucker, whoever serves them must have, I don't know what the fuck, look, look, let me get, my, I don't know what you're fucking waiting for, let me get you a friend. I don't know if you're sitting over there and waiting and waiting and shit. Now I'm assuming she know where to go. I'm just assuming because I didn't service her in the office, she know where to get up and go at. And the fucking way in the world she gonna sit there, hot. motherfucker was smoking. And the fucking way in the world she gonna sit there after I leave. And just wait for another nigga to walk up in the door. That motherfucker was smoking. There's no way to go. But to meet somebody. Yeah, she know where to go. But I'm telling you, there's another one right up the street. One, two, three. Three and a half blocks up the street. You mean, tell me these two motherfuckers don't know about each other? That's what you mean, tell me they don't know about each other. Right up this goddamn street. No, I'm not here to judge anyone. I don't know what their mind is conditioned to, to function as. This is a wonderful place that they're building and they have good architects here and uh, designers and all kind of stuff here. But I really have to say, I have to call something in the question. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Let me see. Uh, is that a confession that you get? Well, pardon him not. You know, pardon him not. Yeah. What are you asking me? Now, keep in mind. That when I say pardon they more, the conversation is over. Yeah, don't worry about Cynthia. That's what that's what I'm asking you. That's what that mean in French. And then don't fucking worry about Cynthia. She got a freedom pass from Louisiana. She is a free woman. She here to conduct business. And she is not servant. And don't fucking worry about what she talking about when she talking about a friend. Poor don't even mind the conversation is fucking over. Don't worry about Cynthia. That what that mean? No. What I mean by that previous video? The previous video, you know. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna put this out there in front of the whole world. If I want that experience with you is it just something where we're going to 
relieve ourselves here in the office? Are we going to relieve ourselves here in the office? In a clinical environment here? Is that what's about to happen here? Because it's what I do. Hi, how you doing? Look. Let me get your number there. And go home. I never wait. Go home. Wait for the results of my test. But I got a clean bill of health. And there's some shit. I got a fucking absolutely pristine bill of health. Look at my look at me. And there's some shit. I have a pristine fucking bill of health. Can't find fucking nothing. Perfect blood pressure. Perfect. But look at me. So I'm sitting here. And that's why I say, look, let me get your number. We'll meet somewhere later. That's how I see it. Yeah. You can do that with some fucking body up. You can leave yourself with some fucking body up. Yeah, you can do it. I say, you can leave yourself with some fucking body up. So, let me go ahead on again. And some shit. I'm clean fucking building here. You won't believe what I'm going through in my body right now, but. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand strong and hopefully things will come through in the positive. We're gonna stand on the word of God. I have to say I'm at some challenge right there now because what what is God doing? My cousin tell me something about God. And I'm like, Man, this nigga is a motherfucking liar. He better get the fuck about my faith. And there's nothing he can say to me that God is wrong. What well, I fucking tell you? Some unbelievable shit is fucking happened to me. So I'm like, Ooh, look at that motherfucker over there. Now, that's the kind of bitch you want to be up in the office with. But anyway. Anyway, yeah, I'm telling you the truth. This motherfucker look like on uh, the woman. What's the woman name on the, the mummy? This bitch look like the fucking woman on the mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this motherfucker is crazy up in Georgia. <laughs> I'm like, this crazy up in Georgia. I walked in the door. The room didn't have a door on it. The room didn't have a door on it. I walk up in this motherfucker and pull up ass. <laughs> I'm like, damn, George out that bad. George is fucking out that bad. But anyway. But anyway. I'm gonna go ahead on. We need some. We found some free parking. And when I tell you, parking in Georgia is just replacing that sex. I'm like, damn, damn. And I'm gonna get a damn bicycle or a motorcycle. But um. Yeah, I want to say, you know, I don't understand what I'm dealing with. I have to be honest. I don't understand what I'm dealing with here. I understand what I'm dealing with here. Clean fucking bill of health. Ain't that some shit? Not a motherfucking thing they can find. And look, and look at me. Look like a fucking train that ran over my ass. But anyway, and like I said, I'm not going to tell you the symptoms I'm experiencing. But. Yeah, most I should leave George. I should I should leave George if it's that dangerous. If it's that dangerous to relate to someone in a in a sense of normality, I should just leave this motherfucker. You you see what I look like? When I fucking tell you, I ain't never seen no shit like that in my fucking life. What are these motherfuckers doing? This is not a normal connection. This is not a normal connection. What are these motherfuckers doing? That's what I'm trying to figure out. But anyway, let me quit talking about George. I'm not trying to judge nobody. This is a, this is a horse of another because this is a different place, a different culture. And um, you do what you want to do. I'm assuming disease is nothing to people to be intimidated by. I'm assuming now. Yeah. I personally have a clean bill of health myself. But um, that that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. When I tell you, look at me. It doesn't mean anything. But I'm going to read my Bible and I'm going and hoping I can find enough spirituality to understand what the attack is. 
You know, I feel like, well, since you gonna go to jail, somebody come up there, I feel like I need to go and blow a few motherfuckers away. I really do. I need to go and blow a few motherfuckers away. I can name some on top of my fucking head. Bible, Kenya, and glory. And you'll light them motherfuckers up. Putting them bitches in hell. I really do. I don't know what I'm dealing with. I really do. I'm like, damn, God, shit, fuck that. I don't need that miracle. I can do that my fucking self. Shit. Do that myself. But let me, let me get out here. Somebody was telling me some shit. Girl, I was bullshit. I gotta quit. Oh, no, I gotta learn how to keep my mouth closed. I was bullshit. And you won't believe the bitch that came to check me. I said I was bullshit, and you won't believe the bitch that came to check me. Motherfucker ain't even old enough to vote. I don't vote at 18. Motherfucker ain't old enough to vote. And the bitch came to fucking check me. I'm bullshit. I need to keep my damn, I need to keep my damn mouth closed. I'm on the stage telling a joke. But I'm going to get some rest. I, I'm, I'm going to give me a job. I hope I get this job at the club. A couple nights a week. Telling jokes. I need to go and audition. And see if I'm going to get this little job. Telling jokes while I try to make some other stuff happen. But, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and get off this internet for right now. Like I said, I, I was lying down trying to rest after a very busy day or nothing but errands nonstop from the time I woke up this morning. This boy need this, this girl need it. She wants something to stop and get her some food. You gotta fucking be kidding me. I'm saying I'm tired. I'm running errands and going here and going there and stop and get some food. And you don't tell me he wants some water. Stop and give me a gallon of spring water. The hell I look like? I'm saying it's a mine no slave. But, you know, it's about survival sometimes. It's about survival sometimes when you're a minority. You know. And I guess if, if you have to survive, there's no telling how you what you accept but I said I don't have any close white significant others or white friends and all of this shit you know I don't hate nobody I, I don't know what you're doing but if I was to do that shit that would be like a concubine to me you know I have a husband and a family but that would be like a second uh, partner to me you know we are, we are friends and we, right, we are friends. We see each other privately. We see each other exclusively. And when I'm with my family, then whatever. And when we're together, whatever. But I, I ain't gonna see no shit like this in my my life. And my judge, I'm not trying to judge, but I wish they would it's say, well, this is not, uh, this is out of town in here. We're just doing business. This is business. We're doing business. You know. But I have to say, it's very, it's, these people seem very intriguing, very attractive. I would assume I'm just go out on the limb and say, when you're that attractive, there is nothing you can't do and nothing you can't experience. But you have to realize that some of these things may become habits and addiction. You know, some of these things may become habits and addiction. You know what I'm saying? But, and the killer is, this motherfucker, these two motherfuckers, do they know about each other? One right here, one right down the street, they gotta know about. It. And that's the norm and acceptable behavior that they expect from blacks to be serious. Then they got to fucking know that you fucking one, I'm fucking one. Why don't we just fuck each other? But I'm finna get my ass back in here and see if I can get some rest. And see what I can do. Uh, I have to think. My, uh, I don't know how to do my hair when I go audition for this. I don't know how to do makeup either. Cause I, don't, I think I have to do some very natural, and very light, very light look. I can't put, I can't put nothing on. Okay, I can't put nothing on. But uh, what I will do. My name is Cynthia. My name is Cynthia. Cynthia. 
let's be clear now Cynthia let's be clear let's be clear now you had made a statement that things that seemed to get inappropriate during my uh, examination and today today that I have I have actually I keep putting off the you know they send you with a ticket to go to have the mammogram I, you know after they do the breast you know the little breast thing is make sure you don't have any uh, lumps they send you with a ticket to go to the mammogram I've been telling you I've been so big I haven't even gone so today I had to date everything has came out so far so good I said things got a little inappropriate but whatever it is that motherfucker doing one of them ladies in that waiting room was finna act like uh what's that girl's name the burn that man house down she passed away god forgive me for talking about her love me she rest in peace the motherfucker was finna go off up in that in that doctor office and one of the nurses one of the nurses came and started setting people up for their shit. You know what I'm saying? Call you and them. Say, put this on. Put this gown on. We'll be back. Just start setting everybody up at the same fucking time. Like, what the fuck is happening? This motherfucker wasn't going to wait. That's what was happening. I know this is getting real out of hand. But I say it to myself. I hope, I hope she heard me. I hope the bitch heard me. One of, my, one of the most breathtaking black women I've ever seen in my life. I said one of the most breathtaking black women I've ever seen in my life. No, she looked like she looked like a young uh, Lynn Whitfield. She looked like, she looked exactly like a young Lynn Whitfield. I say, bitch, look, whatever that motherfucker doing, go get you somebody else and do that with. You never date a motherfucker to see what they do in the bed? Exciting, beautiful. Can do anything with anybody they want to. Motherfucker is a straight fucking freak and you won't know what this bitch doing in the bed. So you go buy that bitch a free drinks and fuck her. Now you know what the bitch doing in the bed. Go do it with some fucking bad ass. I've been there finna, finna throw some shit, finna act a fool. I'm like, George is real good. I don't know what they got going on. Let that motherfucker, <laughs> that motherfucker do that shit in the doctor's office in Baton Rouge. <laughs> You know, you ever seen the thing? That's a joke. That's a fucking joke. The white coats come get you and put you in that white shit in the white room and wrap your ass up. It's not a motherfucking joke. Do that shit up in Baton Rouge. And see, and see, you know, they put your ass up in some white shit and, and wrap your ass up and put you in a white room. I'm supposed to fuck the doctor's office up. I'm just sitting there like, well, I made my knees to leave. My stupid ass. <laughs> my, it's my stupid fucking ass. Maybe I need to leave. I don't know. Since why is she? Why is she? Maybe I just need to leave. Anyway, let me get the fuck off the internet. I'm gonna try to make some professional videos for y'all. I, I got a camera that I order from my co under my company account. So. Y'all be blessed. Y'all believe God pray for me. Like I say, I got a perfect bill of health and I, I, all the shit I'm going through. What's the matter? I want me this motherfucker. But I'm like, okay. It's some weird shit. But anyway, I ain't going to go with it. Like I said, where I'm from, we call that a friend. And it really is a second spouse is what it is. But anyway, y'all be blessed.